Yep, I went out and got another bottle of scotch. Good stuff, man. Yeah. All right. Chapter 28. Second Nephi. We're almost done. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm stringing you along, folks. Just kidding. No, it's not much further. Not a whole lot to drink uh, drink to here, but we got a couple drinks that I can see offhand. So, let's get started. And now, behold, my brethren, I have spoken unto you according to the Spirit, uh, according as the Spirit hath constrained me. Wherefore, I know that it must surely come to pass. Go ahead and pour the next one out. This thing doesn't pour very good. It's an old-fashioned style bottle, but damn, it's nice. All right. The things which shall be written out of the book shall be of great worth unto the children of men and especially unto our seed, which is a remnant of the house of Israel. For it shall come to pass in that day Damn, that's nice. That the churches which are built up and not unto the Lord, which, uh, wait, when the one shall say unto the other, these churches, behold, I, I am the Lord's, and the other shall say, I, I am the Lord's, and thus shall every one say that hath built up churches, and not unto the Lord. And they shall contend one with another. Because <laughs> they all they all can't have the truth. So somebody's lying. Somebody's claiming to have the truth, but they don't. <laughs> yeah, you know, you could write the name of anything down and try to claim the name for yourself. I think Humpty Dumpty pointed it out. <laughs> And they shall contend one with another, and their priests shall contend one with another, and they shall teach with their learning, and deny the Holy Ghost, which giveth utterance. And they deny the power of God, the Holy One of Israel, and they say unto the people, Hearken unto us. And hear ye our precept, and uh, for behold, there is no God today, for the Lord and the Redeemer hath done his work. And he hath given his power unto men. Behold, hearken ye unto my precept. If ye shall say there is a miracle wrought by the hand of the Lord, Believe it not, for this day he is not capitalized. Uh, 
<laughs> he is not a god, but they still capitalize God, even though they put an A in front of it, of miracles. He hath done his work. So you agree with those people. Yea, and there shall be many which shall say, Eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> For tomorrow we die. And it shall be well with us. And there shall also be uh, many which shall say, Eat, drink, and be merry. Nevertheless, fear God. He will justify in committing a, a little sin. Yea, lie a little, take the advantage of one because of his words, dig a pit for thy neighbor, there is no harm in this, and do all these things, for tomorrow we die, and if it be so, I, wait, if it so be that we are guilty, God will beat us with a few stripes, and at last we shall be saved in the kingdom of God. Yea. And there shall be many which shall say, Teach after this manner false and vain and foolish doctrines, and shall be puffed up in their hearts, and shall seek deep to hide their counsels from God, and their work shall be in the dark. And the blood of the saints shall cry from the ground against them. Because he just loves that imagery. <laughs> that gold book writer guy. <sighs> Yea, they have all gone out of the way. And they have become corrupted. Because of pride and because of false teachers and false doctrines, their churches have become corrupted, and their churches are lifted up because of pride and are puffed up. They rob the poor because of their fine uh, sanctuaries. They rob the poor because of their fine clothing. And they persecute the meek and the poor in heart because in their pride, they are puffed up. They wear stiff necks and high heads. Yea, and because of pride and wickedness and abominations and whoredoms, they have all gone astray, save it be a few, who are the humble followers of Christ. Nevertheless, they are led that in many instances they do err because they are taught by the precepts of men. That's, how do you tell? I mean, how can you tell when you're using faith as a navigation device? Uh, oh, the wise and the learned and the rich that are puffed up in the pride of their hearts, and all those who preach false doctrines, and all those who commit whoredoms, and pervert the right way of the Lord. Woe! 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 Be unto them, saith the Lord God Almighty, for they shall be thrust down to hell. <laughs> Woe unto them that turn aside the just for a thing of naught and revile against that which is good. Stop reviling. It's good. And say that is of no worth for the day shall come that the Lord God will speedily visit the inhabitants of the earth don't make me come down there 
<laughs> and in that day that they are fully ripe in iniquity, they shall perish. Even the people who've already died, they'll come back to life and get killed again, and then burn in hell forever. But behold, if the inhabitants of the earth shall repent of their wickedness and abominations, they shall not be destroyed, saith the Lord of hosts. But behold, that great and abominable church, the horror of all the earth, must tumble to the earth, and great must be the fall thereof. For the kingdom of the devil must shake, and they which belong to it must needs be stirred up into unto repentance, or the devil will grasp them with his everlasting chains. And they be stirred up to anger and perish, for behold, at that day shall his rage in the hearts, he rage in the hearts of the children of men, and stir them up to anger against that which is good. And others he will pacify and lull them away into carnal security. That they will say, All is well in Zion, yea, Zion prospereth. <laughs> All is well, and thus the devil cheateth their souls, and leadeth them away carefully down to hell. And behold, others he flattereth away, and telleth them, There is no hell. And he saith unto them, I am no devil, for there is none. And thus he whispereth in their ears. That's how it happens. Until he grasped them with his awful chains, from whence there is no deliverance. Not even Jesus can save you. His Jedi, Jedi powers have limits, you know. And you're the weakest link, Fiat. Yea, they are grasped with death and hell. And death and hell and the devil. Yes, he repeated all that. And all that have been seized therewith must stand before the throne of God because the devil seized you and be judged according to their works, for whence they must go into the place prepared for them, even a lake of fire. Imagine that for eternity. <sighs> and brimstone, which is endless torment. So, you know, Pascal's wager, folks, man. Better play it safe. You know, believe a bunch of bullshit for the rest of your life. In case, just in case it's true. Most of you don't want it to be true. You just dread that it might be true. And that's enough. Pascal's wager. Sucker bet. <laughs> Therefore, woe be unto him that is at ease in Zion. So only in Zion. Wait, America's Zion now. God damn it. It got me in their net. Woe be unto him that crieth, All is well. It is pretty good. Sorry. I'm on vacation time right now. All is great. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go back out and enjoy some of it. That won't be too bad. Only a couple of shots with this one. I might take another just for grins. Yeah. Yea, woe be unto him that hearkeneth unto the precepts of men and denieth the power of God. You mean those people that like science and shit? <laughs> and the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know where you don't need to know anything? All you need is to be indoctrinated and have a bunch of bullshit opinions <laughs> and a closed mind. Who needs science? I mean, they're always rewriting science. Let's stick with something that doesn't change. Oh, wait, they've revised this how many times? 
Yea, woe be unto him that saith, We have received, and we need no more. And in fine, woe unto all those who tremble and are angry because of the truth of God. That really pisses people off, the truth of God, that there is none. No God, no truth in God. Except the absence of God, and that's the truth of God. Uh, that's true, as far as I can tell. For behold, he that is built upon the rock receiveth it with gladness. I said stop smoking them rocks. And he that is built upon a soundy foundation tumbleth lest he shall fall. Woe be unto him that shall say, We have received the word of God, and we need no more of the word of God, for we have enough. Get it right. I mean, first it was just Ten Commandments, and then, well, first it was don't touch this tree. Ten Commandments, you know, <laughs> and uh, then a whole book, and two books. And another book, then this book, and a couple more books to follow, which I don't know if I'll go into, but I got them. Doctors and Covenants, Covenants, and a pearl of great price. Maybe I'll paint that one pearl white. Uh, whoa. Oh, wait. Uh, for behold, thus saith the Lord God, I will give unto the children of men line upon line, precept upon precept. Here is a little, and there a little. And blessed are those who hearken unto my precepts and lend an ear unto my counsel. And they shall learn wisdom, for unto him that receiveth I will give more. Yeah, good advice. One more. For the road. And from them that say, We have enough, from them shall be taken away. So they can play nice. From them shall be taken away even that which they have. Kind of shades of the Mountain Meadows Massacre, don't you think? <laughs> Cursed is he that putteth his trust in men, or maketh flesh his arm, because you know if you have an arm of flesh, you're going to eat the flesh of your arm, according to Isaiah. At least if you're hungry enough. Or shall hearken unto the precepts of men, save their precepts shall be given by the power of the Holy Ghost. How can I tell? Do they glow in the dark or something? Are they talking tongues? I mean, there's some hints of that here. I still want to know. Do Mormons speak in tongues? And I don't mean languages they don't know. I mean angelic, uh, pentecostal -y kind of uh, holy roller shit. Because uh, there's hints of it in this book. Let me know. I, I I didn't go to Mormon church very much, so uh, only, I don't know, for a short time. And they were on their best behavior, I think. They didn't even quote from this book very much. Yeah. So how do you know if it's of the Holy Ghost? Woe be unto the Gentiles, saith the Lord God of hosts. God, he, he liked them just a little while ago. For notwithstanding, I shall lengthen out mine arm unto them from day to day they will deny me none nevertheless and I will be merciful unto them okay saith the Lord God I think I'm a Gentile that's why I'm saying <laughs> I'm a Gentile man gentleman if they will repent and come unto me me for mine arm is lengthened Chow down. <laughs> Out all the day long, saith the Lord God of hosts. And that's enough 
for now. It's the end of chapter 28, and the computer didn't fuck up. Happy about that. So, don't have too much to say about that chapter. We're just uh, more foreshadowings of themselves. And, uh, I mean, it's so easy to be prophetic when you're making up your own prophecies as well. I mean, this gold book was mostly pulled out of Joseph Smith's ass. Oh, and by the way, I added another fantastic video from a Christian group to my Lowdown on the LDS uh, playlist down in the uh, under box. Check it out. None of them are my videos, uh, the Lowdown on the LDS. But if you're thinking about being a Mormon and you're and you lean towards Christianity, all those videos are made by Christians, as far as I can tell. They look like it. They're usually behind a podium with a cross. Check it out. Interesting stuff. Peace out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is. AM, PM. I don't know. Longitude, latitude. I'm going to go have a walk since uh, it's only around 4 o'clock. And I haven't had that much to drink. I think I can walk all right. I'm going to take a walk in the sun. Maybe I'll make another video. Peace out.